probably about two years before I actually had the surgery, maybe two and a half. I just kind of was sore all the time in my, in my hip. So I uh, went to my regular doctor and he says, well, maybe you ought to check with the orthopedic. So a couple of years go by and it's getting worse. So I had started seeing doctors trying to figure out what I wanted to do and who I wanted and how I wanted it done. And I kept looking and that's when I found Dr. Lowry. So Gerald sought me out, he found me, and he was interested in anterior hip replacement. Uh, he found out from his other doctors that his hip was worn out and hip replacement was in his future. Uh, the concerning thing for him, he was a young guy, he was in his early 50s, very active. He had a very limited window of time where he could be out. I talked to quite a few people and I have a lot of my buddies in the coaching profession that's had hip replacement, so I kind of knew a little bit what I was in for. So I started trying to find this anterior approach in the front and um, kind of went through some doctors over in Dallas and found Dr. Lowry attached to it. And the recovery process is so much better. Hip replacement traditionally has been performed through two different types of incisions. The traditional is from the posterior backside of the hip joint and the other is from the side or lateral. Also, when you remove those muscles, the, the function that they provide you have to be careful with the patient, so patients have to have precautions afterwards. And that's where the anterior approach comes in, and, and it's the benefits that I see. Uh, we do the surgery from the front. Uh, it's a smaller incision. Uh, because of that, patients have less pain. Uh, we do not have to restrict their activity or their, the position of their leg afterwards. And there's less risk of things like dislocation, which can be a potential complication. They put me on a, uh, a walker but when I got back to my room, I just said, watch this, and I, let, I, you know, I walked without the walker. Eight weeks later, I was on a bicycle and rode 13 miles. I was in my attic fixing things. I, was, I told Dr. Lowry the other day that if he'd have known some of the things I'd done, he probably would have cringed a little bit, but uh, it was just, it was almost too simple to be true. His bedside manner is as good as any doctor I've, I've seen for any other reason. He's, uh, he's you know, he listens and then he kind of answers your questions. I don't have anything but great things to say about Dr. Lowry. He's, he's made a big difference in my life.